This video is about uh, tackling complexity in SM, Super Memo, and um, how can we systematically learn a voluminous topic which we have no back uh, proper background for. So in this example, I want to understand uh, neurons, and I have a, I have a report report background in bio biology and so on. So um, we start by importing this to SuperMemo, and and, and uh, then we just start reading from the top, and we can definitely see that the even the first sentence will cause us trouble. There's a uh, new concepts, new words. This is the this is the important part. You definitely need to when when the topic is new or just just uh, difficult for you, you definitely need to go just slowly and analyze uh, new any new concept, any new word. You might know that you might um, you might know know a word, but it, it doesn't mean that you understand it in every context, right? So. Uh, we go analytically, right? Then we, um, yeah. So we don't understand the first sentence, which is which is very crucial. So we extract that, and we start investigating the sentence. It's uh, created as a child here, and then we just uh, quickly can see that there's a new concept: electrically excitable cell, which we need to import supplementary material for, and we highlight this. We highlight this and then uh, just uh, Control F3 to pop up the search window in SM and then just quickly Google it. This is a PowerPoint presentation, so uh, I don't have a prompt showing here, but that's what's happened. It's a really quick way to Google. Anyways, uh, we see there's a quick uh, definition for excitability, uh, so we want to import this. We want to import this as a child. Uh, because this will, will uh... so he, here we imported this as a child, and we can see all, already there's uh, this branch building up. And here, here is the thing we imported, and we can see there's uh, again a new concept: membrane. We don't understand what that that is, and it seems crucial for understanding this whole thing. So we import new material for that. And this is the crucial part. We import it as a child, so that we are, you know, keep building this branch, and we'll see soon why is that. So here we have a cell cell membrane, and then we take a peek. Uh, definitely, this monster is gonna cause us tr cause us troubles. There's again so many new concepts. So we extract that, and we start investigating that, and it goes on like this. So. This is why we we have this branch, which I call just coherence branch, uh, because at any point, if if this was floating just individually in SM collection, it could happen that in let's say a few months I come back to this, then if this was just as an individual unit in my collection, it could happen that I have no reason to study this as an individual unit, but when I can see from ancestor window that all right, this bar graph is because I want to understand cell membrane. All right, this bar graph is here because I want to want to understand cell membrane cell membranes. Why do I want to understand that? I can control up and take a look at its parent, which is about excitability. And why do I want to understand that? Well, I don't want to understand definition of neuron, and so forth, so so that I can continue my process on learning about neurons. All right, it won't work if I don't understand even the first sentence. So this is the, this is the part you you can at any point just jump back to learning when when you are happy with your knowledge about cell membranes, you can jump back to the parent and keep continuing learning from there. And uh, it's very coherent, you can just and so forth. All right, so uh, so we have the this monster here in front front of us, and there's many new concepts. Uh, so we shift click each of these links which are necessary, and we do the same thing, we start importing them as a child. And now we have the new things here, and all right, so we we keep doing this, we keep doing this as long as is necessary, 
that we reach a point where a row makes sense to us. We we do this as long as as you know long as long as we find something that makes sense to us. All right. And now we arrived at learning about cells, and this seems like it could match our knowledge, uh, current knowledge, right? So then we start extracting the first paragraph and alt left and get get to it. And this is the point. This is about slot in effect. You memorize the first thing you comprehend, so that this will help understanding the parent. So this will slot into the reader's fabric or how, however you call it a fr framework current understanding or however you want to phrase it. so so we we learn this and we make items we stabilize it in our long-term memory it helps us understand more about cells when we are done with cells we move on to the membranes and when we have good understanding of membranes, we move back to excitability and then ultimately we're back at learning neurons. We have now uh, the required knowledge to work, move on with neurons. And then we just rinse and repeat to do the same process. And you, the thing is you always build this branch. It, it doesn't have to be a Wikipedia page, by the way, along this uh, journey. You can have whatever, you can have exercises, YouTube videos, just just that you arrive at the point where you understand something and then it starts falling like uh, domino pieces, right? So you you cross the last row, then you can move on to the next row. You, you go from bottom to top. This is a coherency brands, right?